Our next stop is here in Northwest Wisconsin, where the air is so fresh here in the legendary Northwoods. We're about to introduce you to a determined family that never says we can't. And over the last 25 years, they have created some of the most unique rail venues in North America. Dining, lounge, and sleeping cars bring back fond memories of America's railroad past. Mostly only seen in history books and old movies today. But a family in the small town of Trigo, Wisconsin have recreated parts of that era, along with introducing an array of new venues to catch the imagination of current generations. What you'll find here at the Wisconsin Great Northern is absolutely unique in the industry. Different services, different equipment. Every time you come back, I can pretty much guarantee it'll be a different experience. Different than any other tourist railroad in North America when you experience all the venues they offer. With wine tastings and a historic dome car, pizza trains for the kids, fine dining for the adults, a one-of-a-kind bed and breakfast, and on the horizon, a restoration of a streamliner that seemed more a sky-flying rocket ship than railroad bound. People um, want something unique to experience, and so that's what we're trying to present to the public, is a unique opportunity that they can't get any place else, whether it be by the service we provide or by the equipment that we operate, that it's different from everybody else. The Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad has been running since 1997. In those early days, it was a multitask operation, running on fumes. There were times when uh, we just simply didn't have the money and uh, she'd sell tickets in the ticket office, hand me 20 bucks out of the till. I'd run to the uh, gas station and get 15 gallons of diesel fuel, drive around the back side of the train, pour it in, and that was enough to make a trip. Sheer persistence helped the railroad grow, along with the elimination of a certain word. There's no such word as can. You may say, oh, I can't. Well, you just find a way to do. And so it might be a convoluted way of doing something, but you try your darndest to find a way to get it done. I don't recognize the word can't. Don't tell me it can't be done because uh, we'll show you how fast it can be done. Greg and Mardell's son Alexander has grown up around trains his whole life. And because of that, he bluntly dismisses more popular teen pursuits. Cars suck, trains rule, and sports are overrated. All right, we are now coming into the Namakogan River in BZ Springs. Like his parents, Alexander wears a lot of hats on this railroad. Tonight, he's a server and is impressing his guests. He was an anomaly, an amazing young man. Yeah, another, another day of Alexander fan club. You see a little bit of that funny ha-ha sarcasm. He's always learned sarcasm, he's learned it good. I like to describe him as my 83-year-old farmer. He is very straight-faced around people he doesn't necessarily know. Just a sponge, he just picks up data and information about the various pieces of equipment like, like I can't even imagine. He knows more about the equipment than I do. The family stays very busy, doing a variety of jobs for each of its unique trips. There is one constant in all of them though, experiencing the splendor and beauty of the great North Woods. You can't beat the view. It's so beautiful in the fall, especially when the tamaracks start to change. Through the pastoral landscape and deep woods, guests take in all the beauty this trip offers. One of the favorite spots is so serene and peaceful, the train comes to a stop to allow all to take in the natural wonders of the Namakagan River. When we stopped at the watershed earlier, uh, we just thought it was like someone had painted the sky and the brush. Like, uh, it was just so beautiful with the sunset and the moon over top. I just love every moment of it, honestly. And what could add to these moments? about a meal prepared and served in your own private dining room. The dinner was amazing. It was just beyond expectations, honestly, to get to spend time with family here, to look out and see this painterly landscape that just 
glistens and is golden with autumn light. I just love every moment of it. Fine dining is just one of the many options here on the Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad. Here's your pepperoni pizza, Mr. Van Camp. Thank you, Jose. The other is their pizza train, and it is definitely a hit with families. It's very unique. The kids love it. They get to, get to go on a train and they get to have their favorite meal. They are cheeseaholics being from Wisconsin. <laughs> it's very nice to have, to have this here and keep that in our culture. Speaking of culture, the Wisconsin Great Northern Railroad also offers a sophisticated wine and cheese pairing trip aboard the Sky Parlor, a 1956 dome car that was once part of the famed El Capitan that operated from Chicago to Los Angeles on the Santa Fe Railroad. It's definitely a, a rolling piece of history. It's, it's really neat to be on something like this. Unique experience, for sure. The wine was great. The train ride experience was awesome. The various train rides run about two and a half hours, and for many guests, they can't bear to leave. So leave it to the Wisconsin Great Northern to offer something for them to stay, a unique experience with their bed and breakfast package, where delighted travelers ride, dine, and get to sleep overnight in their historic cars. It way exceeded my expectations. It was first class all the way. Staff was awesome. Last night's supper, the hors d'oeuvres, the drinks, the food was awesome all the way to the end, to the dessert. Then we had our own sleeping car. It was awesome. <laughs> and it was queen size bed. First class, first rate. After a restful night's sleep in one of the beautiful rail car suites, guests awake to the wonderful smells of a country cooked breakfast. Compliments of Chef Greg. Truly a Renaissance man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We believe that we are continuing to create the history of these pieces of rolling stock. A hundred years from now, hopefully these cars will still be here and still be usable because of our efforts. Of course I'm proud of all of this. How could you not be proud of it? Because if I weren't proud of it, I wouldn't be a part of it. Thanks to Greg and Mardell and Alexander, along with the rest of their staff, you can be a part of something very special. Experiences that are created by a dedicated family, preserving and presenting many one-of-a-kind railroad journeys deep in the north woods of Wisconsin.